Hi friends, welcome back. This is Solomon Jagwe. Uh, it's been a minute since I, uh, I had a chance to take a look at Daz, but there are, uh, there's something really cool I wanted to share with you. So <laughs> yeah, I think the challenge as always with uh, Daz has always been rendering. Okay, so recently I had, I was blessed to buy Puget Systems uh, with an awesome, awesome machine. And let me bring up my specs for now. So just off the bat, so we know what we're talking about. So this is my rig and it has an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090, uh, 256 you know, gigabytes of RAM and it's a Threadripper. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys the difference a graphics card and a really powerful system makes when you're dealing with a, the DAS Studio iRay render engine. It is day and night, <laughs> literally day, day and night. So you've seen me do tests before uh, using the 2080 Ti, but this time, let's take a look at uh, this scene that I put together. In uh, does uh, it's a it's a pack that comes with a. Let me go back to see if I can find it here. In the smart content, uh, it's going it's going to be one of the environments, architecture and where is it so it's an apartment this one right here okay so this is the one that i opened without changing much except maybe putting some of the props on the table uh, there's some kitchenware because i wanted to show you what it looks like with glass and all these cool things okay and so <laughs> watch what happens and let me actually also show you the settings the render settings that i have put in place so I've, uh, and I'm actually gonna turn off my CPU. Let's just look at what the 3090 can do in DAS Studio, you know. So if you're out there and you're dreaming of, you know, if you've been struggling with <laughs> rendering in DAS Studio and you want to get something better, I think investing in a 3090, I know it's, it costs an arm and a leg and it's like a, a unicorn, but should you be able to get a 3090? guys you're gonna your world is gonna change when it comes to rendering in DAS studio all right so this is i've turned off the cpu i'm gonna focus on just the 3090 and let's go to the editor over here so we can look at the settings that i have I've, i'm gonna enable the denoiser uh, i'm also post denoiser enabled and i've set the post denoiser start iteration at zero because i want to see it instantly okay and the environment these are the settings i have the dom is on so because i want to be able to change out the background and then we're going to go to the samples uh <laughs> maximum samples is fifteen thousand. why not right i want you to see the power of this thing okay so let me go ahead and uh turn this over here because i want to if uh, a quick tip is change your layout so that you have two pens right so that you can show uh, if you need to move an item it's better to have move them in this pen in wireframe mode when this one is enabled with a nvidia, NVIDIA ira so let's switch to nvidia ira <laughs> okay this is ira guys this is close to almost real time path tracing and i did a video with the the unreal engine uh the 4.27 that had just come out and they had updated their path tracing but this is actually more mature than even the one that was that is in was at least it's in the 4.27 build as of now in the future of course 4.27 is gonna improve and maybe in a 5.0 it will even be better but right now inside of the <laughs> of that studio 4.15 pro you're able to get path tracing with a 3090 looking like this guys isn't that amazing look at the reflections the refractions this is really 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 awesome so for when it comes to iteration and i think the value of being able to see these things in real time is setting up lighting before you decide to go to full you know final render but even with final render you can imagine this is clearing up in a matter of seconds so if i were to leave this to render for maybe a minute 
let's say let's assume it's maybe like 10 seconds or 20 seconds you're going to end up rendering way way faster than you would with a, a typical you know graphics card so that is what the 3090 can do and let's play with some lighting i'm going to go ahead to my presets over here let's go to the light sets uh let's check out some of these eye ray especially the exteriors uh let's see what it looks like let me scale this up a little bit so we can see uh, let me pick this one so you get a cool update right there let's try something else uh, let me go actually into the render settings array these are the cool ones uh, what's really cool you know these are hgri settings they actually work well in this funny enough let's try one of them let me try another one so you can see the lighting changing and I think the best way to look at it is uh, at the, on the window right here. But look at the reflections, guys. And so what, what's happening right now is uh, because the denoiser is set to zero, it kicks in right away and starts improving the quality of the render using the power of the 3090 card. And that is the cool thing. Look at the refraction. <laughs> that's, that's really cool. And... Up at the top, when I put like the light behind, you can see it refracted and the reflections, and it is really, 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 really powerful. Uh, let me try another lighting setup like this one. You can see how cool that looks. Let's try something else. Let me try this one. This one. So. The value of this is that as an art director or if you're trying to help you know create different environments or lighting setups this helps you to gauge you know instantly what the final shot is going to look like before you decide okay i'm going to you know put all the effort into rendering maybe an animation or whatever and that that is a cool thing so i am blown away and i, I am so grateful to Pujer systems for blessing me with this uh super duper machine i have a link that i'm gonna put in the description of the video below should you want to uh, customize your machine uh, click on that link and check it out but i think the <laughs> being able to see this in real or close to real time and seeing the glass you know the reflection the refraction the light this is amazing and what's really neat is that you can even play with the uh, the depth of field so i'm gonna go up here and bring up our camera so this camera or well, camera 11 i'm gonna go to the camera and i'm gonna enable depth of field let's see what it looks like <laughs> look at that look at that look at that guys that is really 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 cool and let's start let's see focus on the glass let's see wine glass focus on the glass should be in this window. It's on the glass. Let's rotate. You can zoom in. And I think that's why you see the, 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 the brute force kicking in. But that's really cool that we're able to do that in Dell Studio with the help of a, a really super duper you know graphics card. So I, I see why people have been looking for these 3090s because it makes a big big difference it really does and uh, I, I mean I can't wait to continue testing out different things uh, inside of uh, Dust Studio and trying different environments and rendering characters but I just wanted to show you what it looks like when you're doing arch arch architectural visualization uh, using a 3090 inside of Dust Studio with NVIDIA IRA over there and this is uh this is uh, the test that i wanted to show you guys it's it's fun <laughs> i'm gonna continue to test and i'll share with you guys as I, I make progress but overall i'm really really happy and let's try different camera angles here so this is the kitchen and you can see how the light is bouncing nicely the global illumination so this is not even fake this is like true path tracing that's what nvidia iray does so there's nothing fake about it. Even the light, wherever the light bounces, it's going to heat off and bounce on something else and just fill up the entire room. And that is really, really, really cool. Look at that.
look at that. Let me see if I can change the exterior. Let's see, do we have any, I think towards the top, I may have some. That's nighttime. Let's try something else. Yeah, so, so, so cool. And even if I go outside, you can look inside. And being able to do this, guys, like, this is, in, <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> it's really, really, really cool. All right, guys, so in my absence, as I've been waiting for this machine to show up, you can see why I'm super excited to be able to uh, do some renderings, especially with the environments in Dust Studio, because a 3090 makes everything so much better and the system itself. So if you're trying to configure a system that works really well for uh, Dust, Dust Studio rendering, consider a system like that, because clearly you can see the results as, as I've, I've been demonstrating. So thank you so much, guys. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I kindly ask that you spare a minute, guys, to subscribe, hit that subscription button, and uh, click the notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. And a special th uh, shout out to my patrons. I truly appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. And if you want to continue supporting my channel, uh, consider buying one of uh, these much awesome, awesome much, you know, things that will be on my store. Take a look at it and like a, for example a mug like this one if you want to be inspired if you want to be encouraged to dream to dare to dream big every single day consider you know grabbing one of these put some coffee in it and as you're drinking it you're constantly reminded to dare to dream big and that's what that's what i always tell you guys never ever give up on your dream you know thank you so much and i'm continuing to pray for each and every one of you uh see you next time with another insight uh, bye for now. Uh, for today, just a quick recap. We are looking at uh, a 3090 and what it what it can do <laughs> when rendering in the studio using NVIDIA iRay. So I'll continue to share more insights as I go along. It's really, 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 really cool. See you next time, guys. Bye for now.